Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome once again to beautiful Lake Poway for another unprofessional, unedited, unscripted, unrehearsed, un-everything video from Dr. Jet. As I was driving over here, you know, I spend the time in my, my truck and I get to think about stuff. And as I was thinking about stuff, it dawned on me that, um, you know, here I'm putting together my rescue boat and Big B has a really nice rescue boat. And it got me to thinking about <sighs> Pro Boat and Horizon Hobbies. Now, I have a longtime boating friend, a guy by the name of Andy, and he works for Horizon Hobby Pro Boat and I sent him an email the other day asking a question about uh, a p particular item, you know, does he make it anymore and so forth and so on. And I talked about Pro Boat and I got to hand it to Pro Boat and Horizon Hobbies. These guys are really going out of their way to provide a product to what is in fact a real small niche market. I mean, let's face it, radio controlled model boats. How many people run radio controlled model boats? I can probably count them on one hand. But like I say, I hand it to Horizon Hobbies and Pro Boat for providing a fantastic product at a reasonable price point, you know? Um, now, granted, their stuff isn't state-of-the-art. I mean, if you wanted a, uh, you know, pressure-molded, pre-preg carbon fiber haul, well, you know, that's, they can't afford to market that in such a small, small niche. But what they do is absolutely fantastic. So I just thought I'd take a couple of moments here while I'm assembling my rescue rigger. Now, Big B's rescue rigger looks like a tugboat. Mine looks like a farm implement. Oh, I forgot. It's been a long time. You know, this boat is about 20 years old. Um, and in fact, if you look inside here, it's powered by a geared Speed 400 motor, one of the ones that used uh, that in-run in-runner gear drive from way back when. And God, was it sold by Gropner? Somebody sold it. It was an interesting little project. But I digress. So I just wanted to take this moment to uh, send a shout out to uh, Horizon Hobbies. You know, I don't have any of their equipment and. You know, I'm not, I'm not paid or enticed in any way to say this. This is just what I believe that Horizon Hobbies is doing. I think they're doing a fantastic job, and you should support them. Okay, until later, jet out. Okay, YouTubers, welcome back. We are about to run the Jet Stepper Prototype 4 with power system five or six or seven, I don't recall. <sighs> Technical difficulties on this. I put in, when I put in a prop shaft, I went to my drawer of shafts and grabbed one. I grabbed one that was one eighth of an inch, 0 0.1250. Props won't fit on a one eighth inch shaft. I should have grabbed the shaft that was 0.1247. <sighs> So um, I wound up sticking on a plastic prop. This is a, I think it's an X430 that's been reduced down and such. So it should be about right. And I am wearing the appropriate footwear and it still slips a little bit on these little micro ball bearings everywhere. Micro ball bearings. And here's all those baby mallards from before. And mom, mom's gonna go shoo them out of the way. Okay, baby mallards. Real quiet. 
Okay, here we go, boys and girls. The Jet Stepper. Mod, I don't know, 15 or 20. Did I just have a power cut? I just had a power cut. Power cut. Uh, let's see. Oh, I put a small speed control in there. I'm probably drawing too much current. But speed is sort of acceptable. It could go faster. Okay, bigger speed control. I've got a Dynamite 30. I wonder if it would fit in there. But that seems slightly improved. Um, I changed the turn fin angle a little bit and a couple other things. So the launching with that other motor may have just been a fluke of that motor. I might try upping the size of these 2030 motors. Who knows, this might be a good candidate for a 2030. So uh, I think I'll try a higher amperage speed control and play with propellers with this setups before I tear it out and try something different. So until next time, jet out. Okay, YouTubers, here we are. We're still here at Lake Poway. We have the donut here ready to run. I've got a fishing pole there. Over there, I have the rescue rigger and mom is moving all of the baby mallards out of the way. So today, what I've done Last time I ran it, it ran pretty good, but it seemed a little light on the sponsons and it flipped a couple of times when it hit a, hit a wake. So I checked it and I had about a degree of positive on the strut. So I've taken that out and my strut is just about neutral now. So little tiny adjustments should make big differences. Out of the way, Mom. Because you're not going to like this. Okay. Here we go. What? Another power cut? No. Ooh, a whole lot of left trim. Now raising my strut fixed this left trim issue, but dropping the angle down made it a problem again. But it's not quite as light on the sponsons and maybe I can just deal with it with trim. It's not bad. There's a radio dead zone down there. It's upside down, jet out. Okay, tubers, here we go again. I have the rescue rigger ready to go just in case. I have my fishing pole ready to go in case I have an issue close to shore. 
I have the Dona plugged in and ready to go. I got right, left, motor. Okay, here we go. I raised the strut back to where I had it. I put in a little bit of positive angle back to where I had it. And then I raised it up about a millimeter more. Raising it up seemed to alleviate some of that left turn trim issue I was having. So let's see what raising it up a tiny bit more will do. So uh, I'll throw it out in the water. I'll recenter my trim to zero and we'll see what happens. Trim. Zero. It's taking a little left. Ooh, do I have stuff on this turn fin? Yes, I do. That will make it turn left. I think I'm gonna put in the left turn that I had. Okay, here we go again. This time without the flotsam. Takes a little longer to get going. A lot of left turns still. But a little more predictable in driving. Can't do wide open turns. Can't do wide open turns yet. We'll fix that. Jet out. Okay, boys and girls, here we go. Another try. I put the strut back to where it was running good. I think what I'm gonna have to do is two things. I'm gonna have to make a more aggressive and deeper running turn fin. I don't think this turn fin's deep enough. And I'm probably gonna try to see if I can't move that speed control up in front of the motor to get a little more weight forward. I may have my CG too far aft. I think before I go to all that trouble, I'll try a bigger turn fin, but I, I think some of the flipping issues I'm having is it's too light on the sponsons. You know, it'll hit a little wake and it'll just send it flying. So I'm thinking moving the CG forward will help. So here we go. I'm not gonna really open it up on the back stretches, only on the uh, front stretch where I'm within casting range. Here we go. Well, getting going is a lot better with this strut position. And actually, the turning trim is better. let's do a little let's go down here a bit I want to do a high speed run in front of me but there's all this algae right there 
And see, with a little cross ripple, it looks like it's just too light on the sponsons. Yeah, I think that's it for the steering trim. I got a feed in a shade of left. I'll take that out with the rudder trim adjustment. And I think a bigger turn fin, at least deeper. And maybe with a bit of hook in it. So this is, you know, I'm half trigger around the throat corners and I'm giving it full trigger in the straights, but I'm taking it easy in the turns. Seems to be running pretty good with this strut adjustment. I may just leave it like this. Try a deeper turn fin. See, I tried to turn at full throttle and that's what it gets you. Oh, I landed it. First time. Something's amiss. Uh, what's amiss? Everything looks intact. Let's, let's do one more lap just to see. You don't want to start your prop in all these little rocks. Yeah, I think a more aggressive turn fin. It seems to be running pretty good. See how that inside sponson wanted to rise? Yeah, I see it rising right there too. I wonder if that's my turn fan angle causing that to lift. Or if it's just torque. There's a power cut. Well, that was a better run. I think I'm gonna leave the strut where it is. I might just tape a weight onto the front of this for the next time around and see how that does. Okay, boys and girls, until next time, jet out. Welcome, YouTubers, and we are in for a treat. I now have my camera in handheld moat moat oh yeah yeah it's been going down pretty consistently and i have in my hands a gary finley 1 16th inch hydro that was built years and years and years and years ago for the rum runner competition and wayne say hi wayne hi wayne is going to drive his boat i'm going to put it in the water yep and Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared for entertainment. Okay, here we go. Hit it, Wayne. Oh, there it is. Now it's upside down. Oh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, until later, jet out.
Welcome back, YouTubers. We are in for a treat. Wayne is getting his silver bullet ready to go. Now, Wayne says his silver bullet is running perfectly. So before he puts it, before I put it in the water, I'm going to show everybody the setup on here and so forth. And we're going to take a good close look at it because since I'm building the same boat and this one's running perfectly, uh, we should take a close look at it and see if there's uh, any information we can glean. Now, I don't know if the red canopy is going to make it go faster, but if the occasion should ever arise that there might be two silver bullets on the water at the same time, at least you can tell them apart from a distance. Yep. Besides the fact that mine will be way out in front of this one. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> you I, hope. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I know. Anyway, so um, Wayne is just about done taping it up and handing it off to the pit crew. And the pit crew is going to go out here and insert, uh, let's see, right, left. What did I do? Forget to plug in the goddamn battery. I saw the rudder move. Hit the, the steering. Oh. Hit the throttle. <laughs> oh, that's a nice, quiet, smooth drive line, he says with a grin. Okay, now let's see what we have here. We have what appears to be a dead camera. Hold this for a moment, Wayne. Why is my camera not showing me anything? Did my camera over... Ladies and gentlemen, my camera is still going, but I have the black screen of death. Maybe I'm getting a video maybe i'm not who knows you know <laughs> nothing ever works out right when you go to the pond but here we are here we are so i'm gonna put this in the water then i'm gonna check the phone i'll jet out this video jet in the next video and i'll tell wayne not to go until i'm ready so here you go and we'll jet oh i can see now I can see. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready. Fire. So I screwed up the, z the zoom. Remember, when you watch a Dr. Jet video, you get raw, amateur, naked video. <laughs> We guarantee absolutely no professionalism anywhere. Oh, I dialed that rudder way too far back. Well, that's left turn, too. Getting. This one doesn't slow down when you go to glide. Uh, jet out.